ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಗಜಾನನಂ ಭೂತಗಣಾಧಿ ಸೇವಿತ ಕಪಿತ್ಥ ಜಂಬೂ ಫಲಸಾರ ಭಕ್ಷಿತ ಉಮಾಸುತ ಶೋಕ ವಿನಾಶ ಕಾರಣ ನಮಾಮಿ ವಿಘ್ನೇಶ್ವರ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಟು ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಡಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೀರ್ತಿ ವಿಕಥನ ಟುಡೆ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ವಿಷ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸ್ ರಾಮವರ್ಮಾಜಿ ವರ್ಮಾಜಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ವೋಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೀಣಾ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಿಕ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಟೂರಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಔಟ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ to thousands of students through his workshops both uh, offline and online and through numerous uh, lecture demonstrations so uh, sir i am a huge uh, fan of you and uh, your music uh, your uh, i mean the youtube channel music box where uh, your music is uh, uh, regularly posted has been very inspirational and a great resource uh, for learning music uh, so i would like to extend a heartfelt uh, welcome and uh, express our sincere gratitude Uh, for joining us uh, in this interview thank sir you. thank you very much um uh, sir uh, can we uh, please start uh, this interview with a small song uh, from you karuna cheva endu tamasam krishna kadalin kai torune karuna jeevan en tu tamasam krishna kadale kai torune torune sharanagatan markist varadanam chetu chemme sharana gatan ಮಾರ್ಕಿಷ್ಟ ವರದ ನಮ ಚೈತು ಚೆಮ್ಮೆ ಗುರುವಾಯು ಪೂರಂ ತನ್ನಿಲ್ ಮರುವು ಅಖಿಲ ದುರಿತ ಹರಣ ಭಗವನ್ ಕರುಣ ಎಂದು ತಾಮಸಂ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಳಲೀನ ಕೈ ತೊಳುನೆ ತೊಳುನೆ sir that was really really uh, wonderful thank you this is uh, a composition by the guru of maharaja swatitrana okay it's called iremman tampi okay he originally is said to have composed this in sri ragam hmm. it was tuned in this yadugula kambuji very very charming tune by chembai vaidyanath bhagavate okay okay yes, it is i like this tune more <laughs> okay okay so very very melodious sir thank you uh, let's start from your childhood so how uh, how did you start uh, learning music what were your uh, inspirations and i i was always a listener mm-hmm. and a music lover okay. which i continue to be even now so uh, my father was very much into uh, old hindi film songs mm-hmm. one and he was a world traveler so when he visited indonesia he would buy one at that time no cassettes only record long ah, playing records really. so wherever he went whether it's to greece or indonesia or not just america and england but these mm-hmm. other countries where with foreign languages he would buy records of the local music so okay. i used to listen to malaysian songs and arabic songs and greek songs and turkish songs without and i never felt any difference it's all music only okay. 
so uh, that was one side my sister was a big fan of the latest film songs which are now mm. golden oldies from 1968 69 70 71 okay. okay that is the rise of kishore kumar mm. uh, mohan rafi mukesh were already there mostly hindi film songs okay. and some english uh, music like groups like abba and bonnie m and mm. that happened by late 1970s okay. this was two sources and i used to attend live concerts at the navaratri mandapam so mm. it's where uh, some regular people used to perform md ramanathan chemangudi srinivas ayer okay. uh, kv narayan swami pudukot krishnamurthi hmm. uh, cheshu gopalan then maharathura santanam hmm. uh, then veena ks narayan swami okay. m uh, k kalyana krishna bhagat like there's one set of people and of course a company is lalgudi jayaram t n krishnan umayal prasadaram t k murthy pal gadragu velu ramadhan yeah. like that this said not much uh, khatam by only violin mridanga at okay. that time so these concerts at pal gad mani ayer uh, so there are some people i uh, remember so well mm-hmm. even from 1970s okay. so these concerts i used to attend live not like sitting and listening carefully but uh, little passively i'll be playing around but music will be going on sometimes i'll be okay alathur se nivasi i would have left out some names also yeah yeah so all these people i used to uh, listen to at uh, navaratri mandapam there was never a desire in me to sing myself i was just okay. happy to go on listening and enjoy okay and there is absolutely no difference between alathur se nivasi here uh, singing uh, rasa vilasa or kv narana swami singing mandara thara or okay. kishor kumar singing ichingari koi padke okay. or one malai record playing rasa sayang it is all music same okay so which is a big advantage for me because i never felt uh, in the, that is how Hmm. the kind of uh, it's like a deposit you put in a bank no you have this much deposit means you get the interest so the deposit of music inside me hmm. listening it was like this okay yeah. learning what happened was it i was in school in uh, my 8th standard i was in high school hmm. and one uh, teacher uh, his name was msg kutti hmm. cute kerala name uh, msg okay. must be govinda kutti msg kutti was his name okay i joined the new school at that time and at that time amma maharani uh, setu parvati bai was alive and my family was very well known for their patronage of the fine arts hmm. so since somebody from that family had joined the school this teacher just presumed that oh i must have studied music i didn't even know that the first note was called sa at that time okay <laughs> so he said oh there's a um, uh, meeting of the music group you come there so i said okay i had a child voice at that time okay so i went there and they would sing the national anthem and then the school anthem hmm. and one or two malayalam folk songs for about onam and whatever okay so i would just and my best friend in school at that time was a boy called jay krishnan who was a very bright star okay. uh, in academics in, in looks in singing in everything everyone wanted to be like jay krishnan you know, like okay. so he was in the music group so if i joined the music group every week one hour extra i used to get with jay krishnan uh, when other students uh, from my classmates uh, were not there okay so that was one big uh, initiative like that i joined the music group and our group won a prize at the youth festival hmm. and then uh, my great grandmother my mother's mother's mother amma maharani setu parvati bai hmm. she was very thrilled that i had won a prize in music so uh, she said oh you must learn classical music properly so i said hmm. okay and then uh, for 6 months she interviewed all the gurus in vatavandam hmm. and selected my diamond guru uh, professor vachur harir subramanayar sir hmm. who was a mongo dis- uh, disciple i didn't know this till much later that she had actually called all the singers in vatavandam and selected him okay. so she said you must learn music then she never said anything i also forgot one day after so many months she said uh, tomorrow evening after school you come you have a shower and be fresh and Okay music classes are going to start I'm like oh okay okay <laughs> so I had forgotten all about that okay then okay. vachur hariras brahmane sir came which is one of the most wonderful things that ever happened in my life okay so he passed away on november 16th uh, 1994 okay till november 15th I was with him okay so it is only his death that stopped the class suppose he was alive now even now I'll be studying with him okay, okay. so that was how he started a uh, okay. carnatic music lessons So how was uh, his style uh, maybe can you sing one or two lines and show us uh, his, uh, his his style, style. was uh, heavily modeled on samangudi style hmm. but unfortunately what uh, people define as style are usually the mannerisms hmm so uh, if i say md ramnath you say take one phrase in kalyani hmm one phrase same thing 
if I do so it sounds like MD Rao. Yeah. So that is not MD Rao, it's just one mannerism he had. Correct. So similarly, Samangudi had his own mannerism. He used to sing a little nasally. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, like so Vachur sir had Samangudi's material but without the mannerisms. Okay. So if you look at Deva Deva Kalyami or hmm. Pahita Rakshupurale or many normal compositions which Samangudi used to sing, Vachur sir also modeled himself in, in that way, mm-hmm. but without the typical mannerisms which would immediately stamp, oh, this is a Mahmoudi. Okay. Uh, see, Balamurli means, again, Oh, that's Balamurli. Uh, not Balamurli. Yeah, yeah. It is just one very external mannerism. Each person may have, some people are remarkably free of mannerisms also. They just sing the yeah. correct thing. So, Vachur sir had very few mannerisms hmm. but he sang pahi tarakshu puralaya is about vaikam which is a town in kerala near kottayam uh, it's a Shiva temple, famous Maha Shiva temple. Okay. And Vachur is a small village near Vaikam, from mm-hmm. where my guru Vachur Harisabrahman sir came, though he lived in Trivandrum. Okay. So this is an Ananda Bhairavi song by Maharaja Swaditrana, okay. which was uh, sung a lot by Samangudi and by Vachur sir also. So okay. uh, there was uh, his style, and everything was uh, typical standard fare. He was the Agaraja, hmm. Dikshatir, Shama Shastri, Swadhirna, okay. Patna Subramane, Kalyani, Sankarabarnam, Todi, Bhairavi, uh, Yodhukula Kamboji, Shahana, Ananda Bhairavi, Riti Gaula. Hmm. Uh, that uh, typical uh, core classical. of Karnataka, classical yeah. core. Yeah. So you ask him to sing Revati, he may not know. Okay. <laughs> you ask him for some obscure composition or obscure composer also, yeah. he may not know. But these things and uh, he had I think 40, 50 Atatala Varnams, he knew by heart, uh, on the okay. spot. Suppose I tell him, can you just teach me uh, Kannada Atatala Varnam? He never said, ah, I'll look it up. Then and there he would teach. Okay. So I never saw him refer a paper or book or anything. Everything was okay. Very, 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 very big stock of compositions. And I feel the we can be adventurous. You know, I, I love uh, Hamir Kalyani, Bihag, and certain mm-hmm. Hindustani ragas I love a lot. Yeah. But as a Carnatic musician, our strength is these uh, core ragas. Yeah. Karagara Priya, Saveri, Kalyani, Todi, Todi Bhairavi, you know, yeah. that, those things, and Tyagaraja, Dikshita. So that big uh, foundation I got uh, from Vachur sir. Okay, okay. Um, <coughs> And uh, uh, but but you sing uh, many different uh, uh, people's compositions. Yes. So uh, 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 so how how did you get that uh, repertoire of uh, many different? Uh, uh, just an uh, open mind. See now, right now, when this interview is happening, hmm. I am in Bangalore now. Yeah. And uh, in Gayana Samaja, Bangalore, every year they have a series. Uh, hmm. October, November, sometime like that. Evenings they have concerts hmm. by various people, but in the mornings they have a series of lecture demonstrations. Hmm. Many of these lecture demonstrations are extraordinary, hmm. but it ha- they happen during weekdays. So unless we are unemployed and jobless, <laughs> I don't know how people can attend uh, those leg dems, but not now. Now I spend a lot of time in Bangalore, hmm. but even when I did not spend time in Bangalore, I used to travel to Bangalore to catch these lectures, most of which are in Kannada. Hmm. At that time, I didn't understand Kannada. Still, I would come to Bangalore to catch these lecture demonstrations and suddenly, in fact, this uh, year, the series is centered on the, the Haridasa tradition. Hmm. So, now we know Purandra Dasa, but there are so many other Dasas and great scholars have been giving lec- lectures about each of these Dasas and their contribution and whatever. Okay. So, I physically make the effort not now, even earlier, to travel to Bangalore to attend these lectures or maybe one song I'll get. Okay. okay. Uh, so, uh, like that, I'm. it's like, oh, I know 100 songs, that is enough. That feeling is never there. Always ready to uh, learn uh, something more. Hmm. Uh, that desire to learn, once we have that desire, it, it will come, I, I feel. The okay. compositions will just tap us, hey, hello, sing, oh, this is a nice song. So, they come to us. <laughs> no, I, I, and how do you uh, tune them? I mean, you, I, I mean, you, you are, uh, uh, you speak. I mean, your mother tongue is Malayalam, Malayal. but you have learned so many other languages, including French, uh, English, uh, everything. Only, uh, not everything. <laughs> Only English, English, I learned. 
ഹിന്ദി ഐ ലേൺ മലയാളം ഐ നോ ദെൻ തമിഴ് ഐ പിക്ക് അപ്പ് ബിക്കോസ് വിത്ത് ബാലമുരളികൃഷ്ണൻ സാർ അറൗണ്ട് എയ്റ്റീൻ ഇയേഴ്സ് ഐ സ്പെൻഡ് മോസ്റ്റ്ലി ഇൻ ചെന്നൈ ഓക്കെ സോ ഐ പിക്ക് അപ്പ് തമിഴ് Uh, now i'm picking up uh, telugu see now there's an ongoing series in gaane samaja yeah. and they are speaking at least 87 to 93% i could understand okay. of course they are talking about music also which is a subject that is familiar yeah, yeah. suppose the same thing they were talking about accounting or nuclear physics i may not have understood but topic is music correct so i found it and there are certain people like uh, professor t s satyavati ma'am for mm-hmm. example the way satyavati ma'am her brain her mouth words everything she expresses herself the words are like diamonds all so even if you don't know kannada you will understand when she speaks you know the mm. articulation is so impressive yeah so there are some people who speak, there are some people who the topic may be very interesting but the way they speak may not capture our attention right that, that also happens so that also we have some something to learn how to how not to <laughs> speak also yeah yeah correct so um, yeah so i Uh, i'm picking up kannada in fact one funny thing happened i had a teaching session in uh, andhra pradesh uh, two weeks ago hmm. so i was teaching on uh, kuntala virale tillana by my guruji dr mangala palli balamurikshan so hmm. it goes like that tillana nadridhim tadaradani nadridritham like so i told the students first two times we will stop after tillana nadridhim stop but then half talavattam is remaining so tilla nanadridhim then 1 2 3 4 tilla nanadridhim so so every time there are around 100 students so every time tilla nanadridhim ta da da then somebody will start is <laughs> <laughs> no 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 don't yeah. stop so once twice three times again and again i did and then uh, this is in andhra pradesh hmm. so i know little kannada and little telugu yeah so i i thought i will shock them by speaking their language mm-hmm. so i said tilla nanadrithi bai muchikulli but i meant to say noramui in, in telugu <laughs> but i am saying in kannada bai muchikulli so they are like they didn't understand and I, oh sorry sir noramui <laughs> so there is a shut your mouth okay. the same bai muchikulli same meaning only yeah, so yeah. sometimes the languages they they <laughs> correct, correct they get confused correct. also yeah yeah no but uh, uh, what i was trying to ask is okay so you have you find a, a new composition in telugu or kannada uh, so how do you approach uh, learning that uh, i i have uh, friends kind of not necessarily connected to music okay i have some normal friends uh, if i get a kannada song i will mm-hmm. ask them for the meaning okay so they will and the pronunciation also mm-hmm. so uh, sometimes we think of sanskritam or our own language and malayalam is sanskritized hmm. telugu kannada malayalam have ka kha ga kha all the alpa okay. prana maha prana so it's easier for us yeah but i always make it a point to ask native speakers hmm. and find out the correct, correct pronunciation and, and then some words like uh, if we take tyagaraja for giri pai nalla kon ra so giri pai nalla konna ramuli so giri is mountain pai is on top nalla konna ramuli so then ramani pai tanaku so ramani pai pai giri pai so that pai word came again hmm. oh, so it means on on top right. oh, so rama on you i have love yeah. you know, so yeah. some words because they come all composers they repeat some words again and again hmm. so like that slowly slowly when the same word comes again and again i understand the meaning okay. sometimes with the context okay. uh, only so you see yesterday for example uh, in gayana samaja he he the person who introduced said a word in kannada which was not familiar but mm. from the context like uh, the keynote address will be delivered so the keynote address that was some word i forgot the word now okay. <laughs> so from the context we can and oh that's yeah. what so like that but okay. we have to be alert and not if we are on passive mood so many nice things will be going by we miss everything correct. but we have to be alert all the time then we don't miss anything correct correct and when it comes to the uh, lyrics so uh, there is the uh, meaning uh, and also the words uh, and also there is the musicality so sometimes what happens is uh, even in some of the uh, pancharatna kritis or even when we are learning geetams uh, so the split will be not exactly at the uh, end of the words so what is your approach uh, when I, uh, for I try, a new song yeah, i like try that. my best to do justice to the lyrics okay uh, but not uh, doing anything less to the music hmm. it's more hard work that's all. 
if we okay. if we apply our mind and take the trouble hmm. then definitely it, it is possible so, you know i have made uh, two videos hmm. on youtube uh, one about endro mahanubavulu hmm. and one about jagadananda karaka so jagadananda karaka uh, both these how we sing swarams and how we cut is yeah. different from uh, how we cut when we sing sahityam correct, correct so yeah. sa sa ni ni sa ni ni sa ni pa so sa we do then mag no sa ma is one so okay. sa ma ga na lo na again manasi jala no manasi ja la vanya thanya murdhanyu lo so thanya mu thanno thanya murdhanyu lo ಮಾನಸ ವನಚರ ವರ ಸಂಚಾರ ಮು ನಿಲಿಪಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಬಾಗುಗ ಪೊಟಗನೇ ಬಾರು ಸರಗುಣ ಪಾದ ಸೊ ಸರಗುಣ ಪಾದ ನೋ ಸರಗುಣ ಪಾದ ಮೂಲಕು ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶೋ ಪಾದ ಮೂಲಕು ಸರಗುಣ ಪಾದ ಮೂಲಕು ಸ್ವಾಂತ ಮನು ಸರೋಜ ಮುನು ಸಮರ್ಪಣ ಮು ಜೇಯುವಾರು ಪತಿ ತಪ್ಪೇನ್ ಪತಿ ತಪ ವನುಡನೆ ನೋ ಪತಿ ತಪ್ಪನುಡನೆ ಪರಾತ್ಪರು ನಿ ಗುರಿಂಚಿ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಮಗು ನಿಜ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಮು ತೋನು ಪಾಡು ಚುನು ಸಲ್ಲಪ ಮುತು ಸ್ವರಲಯಾದಿ ರಾಗ ಮುನ ತೆಲಿಯು ನಾವು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಂಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ವಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ದಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೀಲ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ ದ ಲಿರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಪೋಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೃದು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೃದು ಮೃದು ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಫೀಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಭಿನಯ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಲಿರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ದರ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬೆಲ್ಜಿಯನ್ ಸಿಂಗರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಜಾಕ್ ಬ್ರೆಲ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಗುರು ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪಿರೇಷನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಮೇಡ್ ಮೀ ಅವೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಲಿರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸೋ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ otherwise it was only music as i said greek and turkish and arabic everything i used to enjoy without understanding a single word hmm. carnatic also i enjoyed without understanding a single word hmm. but this is the man who made me realize that you just read the lyrics and you get tears in your eyes you're like my god sahityam can be so important and so vital yeah so he uh, used to sing first with a guitar in his hand hmm. but then some of his friends and well wishers they said uh, you are so expressive that the guitar is hindering you so he gave up the guitar and then he started gesturing with his hands okay so there's a in, in the drawing room there's an old clock and there's a pendulum hmm. the pendulum is going saying yes and no and yes it says no so the, automatically his hand will move like that okay uh, so uh, that i observe what it is and i'm not doing like he's doing hmm. but it comes okay now, once i had a concert and this is about, not about abhinayam but about hmm. movement i had a concert in uh, mumbai hmm. a place called dombi villi hmm. which is full of toxic air and it is, it is a horrible uh, place actually okay but they had a nice tyagaraja festival okay and this is many many years ago uh, I, i heard that dombi villi is much more clean and all that now i don't hmm. know this was around 20 years ago 20 25 years ago there i sang gandhamu puyaruga gandhamu puyaruga paneeru gantham upayaruga then gantham upayaruga paneeru and there were around 25 30 small children hmm. uh, like less than 5 years old and when i started gantham upay all these kids started mo- dancing okay <laughs> it was the most beautiful sight because that rhythm gantham upayaruga the rhythm changes also yeah so it is hitting them and their body is responding naturally to the rhythm hmm. so then their parents say, sit sit, sit, sit. So i said no 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 let, let them die. because th- that is the natural that is nature rhythm yeah. for our breathing for our heartbeat for everything rhythm is there yeah. so when we hear rhythm the, the for our body to respond is natural but we become adult and grown up and uh, you know we won't somebody makes a joke we won't laugh so, so we hear a rhythm we we'll just sit like so people are getting killed no okay. the, the great greatest or one of the greatest martial artists of all time bruce lee hmm. bruce lee says uh, when a man a person is alive the hmm. body will go like this when a person is dead 
after some time the body will become stiff yeah. no yeah. rigor mortis will stress hmm. so same as with the mind when the mind is alive it's supple and flexible and elastic and movable hmm. when mind is dead it becomes rigid no no yeah. no i don't want i won't look left and right yeah so that rigidity uh, people walk also nobody marches like that. we'll walk normally so okay. for our music that is the most beautiful to not ta 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 we have little gamakams which, yeah. which is like natural correct correct so yeah usually in the carnatic concerts like it, it's like people are very silent but but in your concerts people will be singing along with you so <laughs> that's uh, that's a really yeah. nice uh, nice thing um and uh, when it uh, so we, we were talking about the kids so uh, you you conduct workshops wherein from maybe 5 years till 70 years everybody will be attending and uh, you also make the kids uh, sing along with you mm-hmm. as well as uh, you let them repeat so uh, so for the kids i mean uh, w- what is uh, uh, what is your uh, approach when you are teaching the kids uh, firstly not to <coughs> scare them they should, mm-hmm. they should not feel that it is some uh, punishment or work or something mm. scary something alien something i can't get it is if somebody invites you for a party in the evening somebody says i'll give you a chocolate cake hi hi what that feeling they should have towards our music not only towards right. my class yeah. some people say uh, it's a modern approach but you go back 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 to purandra dasa hmm. uh, what did purandra dasa say dangura vasari reya dingari garel ellaru not yeah. just me ಡಿಂಗರಿಗರೆಲ್ಲರು ಡಂಗುರ ಬಸಾರಿ ರೈಯ ಹರಿಯು ಮುಡಿದ ಹೂವನು ಹರಿವಾಣದುಳಿಟ್ಟುಕೊಂಡು ಹರುಷದಿಂದ ಸಿ ಸ್ಮೈಲಿಂಗ್ ಫೇರ್ ಹರುಷದಿಂದ ಹಾಡಿ ಪಾಡಿ ಕುಣಿದು ಚಪ್ಪಾಳೆ ಕೂತ ಹೀ ಸೆಟ್ ಐ ಡಿನ್ ಸೇ ಸೊ ನೌ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಗೆಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲಾಪ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಿಕ್ ಕಾನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ ನೋ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ people forgot yeah so forgot. i don't kunitu i don't do I, <laughs> i sit and do only yeah uh, but that is what yeah he says okay. even even uh, the next term also rudiva nalige pididu bidade thana thana rendu hode du chapali yeah so it's all like, so exulting it's not only just crying oh god i am calling you you are not come that side is also there yeah. but we if we search the other rasas are also there not mm-hmm. only uh, the crying or meditating correct 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 and and also maybe so in in many ragas we have a lot of gamakas but uh, we also have some ragas where gamakas are less and uh, probably it is easier for uh, children to learn so when it comes to uh, these uh, gamakas and having uh, plain notes uh so what is what is your uh, approach uh, in the sense that um i mean uh, do you like to sing a lot of gamakas or uh, uh, add some plain notes so how how do you approach your manodharma no, it depends on uh, raga selection see suppose i sing bhairavi for example hmm. the bhairavi kamakshi swarajati is there hmm. for example, which is there on youtube yeah so there bhairavi without gamaka is not bhairavi the, hmm. the essence of todi or bhairavi yeah. or sankara varnam or kalyani is gamaka hmm. so you remove uh, gamakam from sankara varnam is not sankara varnam it is ndore me vasola ti doni right so um, sagare ga ma pa ta ni sa ni da pa ma ga pa ti so sagare ga ma pa ta ma pa da ni sa ti sa ni da pa mahapadani sa pa so that you have to sing with that much gamakam hmm. that i can't uh, trim right. the gamakams from bhairavi hmm. but suppose i am singing for a western audience or something and then the selection of raga hmm. I, i may choose mohanam or vakula uh, varnam or kiravani or simhendra madhyam or bihag okay. some raga where the gamakams are not that uh, heavy hmm. then uh, what we call heavy ragas and light ragas hmm. for example in this is my theory if you just sing the plain notes uh, play on a keyboard hmm. it still sounds that like that ragam that is a light raga mohanam sariga gariga pa pa ga pa no it's mohanam yeah. but sankara pa nam sariga ma pa da pa ma ga there is no sankara pa riga ma ga ga re sari sari ga sari so look at that sari ga sari ni sari ni 
ಸರಿ ಗ ಸೊ ನೀ ಸರಿ ಇದು ಒನ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಗಮಗ ಸರಿ ಗ ಇದು ಅನದರ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಗಮ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ರೀ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಮ ಗಮ ಮಾ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಮಾ ಪ ಗಮ ಪ ಗಮ ಪದ ಮಾ ಅರು ದ ಅದರ್ ಬದನಿ ಮಾ ಸೊ ಮಾ ಸೊ ಮಾ ಸಮ ಗ ಸೊ ಮಾ ಸೊ ಸಂಕರಾಭರಣ ಶುದ್ಧ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಬೇಸ ಶುದ್ಧ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಬಟ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ನೈನ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಮಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಕರಾಭರಣ ಸೊ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಸ್ವಾತಂತ್ರ್ಯನಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಫಿಸೆಂಟ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವರ್ಣಮ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಕರಾಭರಣ ಆಟತಾಲ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರಮ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಪಾ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸೊ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ ದ ಪ ಮ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗರಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ರಿ ಸ ಪ ಮ ಪ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ನಿ ಪ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಪ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಪ ಇಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಟು ಶೋ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ವೇಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಪ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಗಮ ಕಮ್ ಸೊ ಪ ದ ಪ ಮ ಪ ಸ ಪ ಪ ದ ಪ ಮ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಸ ಪ ಗರಿ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಟಿ ಸ ಪ ಮ ಪ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ನಿ ಪ ಸ ನಿ ದ ಪ ನಿ ದ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ಸ ಪ ರೇ ಗ ಮ ಪ so such beautiful ways of coming to pa yeah so this is it has to be sung like that otherwise mm. it's better not to sing that okay. you know sankarapanam right. we can't uh, cut gamakams right okay. so uh, so what i do is i take these gamaka prada sa very mudare ma pad da pa ma ga re re da da re ma pad re sa da ar ma pad ma ga re da ni ga so varali varali you have to sing even ma no no hmm. ma so even the composition ma ma va mi na khi so ma is the swaram okay. position right. ma so close to pa correct it is different from panthurali ma which is little uh, not that uh, embracing panchama hmm. so those gamaka pradhana ragas definitely no compromise we have to give full gamaka okay. and if it is a mixed audience which may find it too difficult to uh, take that then hmm. choose uh, another ragam which is not so okay hmm. even sahana par de 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 ga ma pa ma pa ta ba na da na da re 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 na 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 so normally re ga ma pa we have mayamal gola re ga where ga has gama gam ma is plain we have hari kamboji sankara where re ga is plain ma has mo but sahana is a strange ragam which has hari kamboji like notes hmm. but ga has gama gam ba ma ga va re ga re sa re sa ni sa da so that uh, how does one know in which ragam in which occasion which note should be given how much gamaka hmm. it comes only with listening listening we call okay. kelvi jnanam yeah. to listen to sahana sung by so many people not only sung but played by so many people veena violin hmm. then we develop an instinct towards that is what we call jnanam hmm. in normal language jnanam means knowledge hmm. but in our carnatic language jnanam means good taste Hmm. so somebody ah nalla jnana ma padna that means it is very aesthetic and tasteful yeah. while opposite is tasteless jnana sunya ma padna he may sing very fast or whatever but not uh, it was disturbing despite being fast that hmm. is jnana sunya that okay. is without jnana that is tasteless right so taste comes only by listening and 
listening to what that is a big question you said listen to the wrong kind of stuff a yeah. lot that you develop that taste <laughs> yeah yeah so on the internet i mean so many people nowadays have put so many things yeah, so exactly. how do we know which is good and which is that, uh, uh, i was very fortunate to have heard only the good stuff okay. during the first 20 years <laughs> so it's so, better to probably uh, listen to cassettes or uh, i mean recordings, recordings of, like official recordings rather than following somebody on the uh, official recordings by so there are some uh, to my students who are who care to listen i tell them hmm. some names i say okay. you listen to pudukod krishnamurthy i listen listen to valetti venkateshwar to ramnar hmm. krishnan to madure mani ayyar okay. uh, to md ramnathan uh, so like that there are so many musicians than just the two or three big names we hear hmm. there are so many others uh, and uh, suppose you listen to uh, tn krishnan playing violin for example hmm. tn krishnan playing for md ramnathan for samangudi for madure mani for somebody else they'll all be singing kambodja and sakraparna and see how he is playing for that man and this man and that man hmm. there will be some difference right. so uh, not only tn krishna ms gopalakrishna lal guri jarama and bb subramani hmm. so uh, yeah, but we have to listen actively if we just play one cassette of md ramana then we are checking our phone means nothing will happen hmm. so we have to actively listen and see oh when he sang this what is he playing right. now when did the bradangal give a pause when did they play extra when did they give gumki oh, uh, so okay. that active listening some of my students I, uh, who uh, they have benefited a lot hmm. and earlier uh, before internet i had a collection of music which i would copy on a cassette and give it to my student to listen okay. and each time you make a copy the quality comes down yeah now all those recordings are there freely available on youtube okay but people have to uh, choose some somebody asked me okay can you name one musician okay. uh, for a carnatic music student to just follow hmm. i would say madure mani ayya okay. uh, despite the fact that his sahityam was not uh, very good okay so he sang just uh, very casually uh, whether okay. it's telugu or even tamil but uh, the, the musical aspect suppose he sang bahudari or ranjani or sankravarna or kiravani or bhairavi or hmm. uh, absolutely pure music you used to get hmm. and he had this way of simple build up hmm. for example i uh, if it takes kiravani for example so normally we have varise in my mola unsari ga ma ri ga ma pa ga ma pa da ma pa da ni pa da ni sa hmm. we learn 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 but he would sing that in an alapana and every segment will be a one representation of kiravani hmm. so le sa sa ri ga Loe, hai, oe, 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 hai, oe, oe, then down. Oe, oe, na, na, oe, 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 oe. I'm just showing his mannerism also. Ah, 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 ah. ఫ్లోటింగ్ <laughs> Okay. Like pumping in the energy, no. It is like just naturally floating like a feather or whatever, no. So swaram also. Kaga 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 bari sari kaga kaga. So it is na. Go go go. No, not like that. Okay. Kaga bari sari 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 the gamma 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 gari ri gamma gari ri sari gari ri sari gari ri ri gari ga pa ma ga ma ma da ma ma pa ma 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 ga ma gari ga gari sari 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 ri sari ga gari ga ma so it is just abhinaja mrudanga and pani subram would play or vello ram padre jam which chakka chakka jam they provide not abhiprayam they give a groove hmm. they just goes it's like that essential thing to defy gravity on right. that his thing will be going on so oh my god Yeah. just delight pure delight so madhuramani air will be one singer whom 
I would recommend. But hmm. we should not uh, follow his mannerisms and the way yeah. he cut the lyrics okay. and all that. Hmm. That we now we have enough enough resources. Right. All Tyagaraja Kriti's word by word meaning is there on the internet. There is yeah. a site called Tyagaraja Vaibhava. Hmm. Then Guru Guha Vaibhava, Dikshitar Kriti sir also. Tyagaraja Dikshitar they comprise one hmm. big chunk of the songs we normally sing. Correct. Yeah. Then other songs, many 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 lyrics are available. Then we can ask native speakers about the pronunciation, meaning, and whatever. Hmm. Just take the good, and there's so much good in Madhuramani. In most of them, yeah. But Madhuramani, I find very refreshing and energizing. We are tired and like that. And then we we play his music. Jayati Jayati Bharat Mata. So G N B sang. But Madhuramani Jayati Jayati. Oh my God, it's sublime. It's like you open a bottle of champagne and. Psh, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that quality. Naturally, he had that. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, th- that was a nice, uh, very great uh, insight, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, so, coming to your music uh, style, you you listen to a lot of uh, different styles of uh, music, including the old uh, Hindi songs and international music. So, how has it uh, influenced your uh, style of uh, music? A lot, a lot, lot, lot. Because okay, okay. I find uh, even for a as a Carnatic music student myself, hmm. I find that if I had listened only to the typical three or four Carnatic names, hmm. my scope would have been much more limited. Uh, the voices also, but see, we all have same two eyes, one nose, one mouth, one. So yeah. different kinds of voice production. How people have used the voice hmm. in other systems of music. You see, I listen to a lot of opera, for example. So opera, they have vibrato. So hmm. vibrato. I don't sing Sankarabhanam. I don't sing like that in public. Hmm. But if we train like this, the power it gives our voice. If you attend a live opera performance, hmm. there will be an audience of 3,000, 4,000 people in a very big hall with an orchestra hmm. playing fully. And this guy will be on stage without mic singing and that entire auditorium can hear him. Oh, wow. Okay. You know? So that kind of voice training they have so hmm. that if we are if we just listen to that oh we know our voice namari kuda pannamadi we realize that voice can be used like this also whether we use like that or not is a different thing and the hmm. expression uh, if as i said brudu and soft word we make it soft that hmm. doesn't that intimate connection with the lyrics is uh, probably least in classical music in uh, than in other forms of music hmm. so whether it's kim kishor kumar or mohammad rafi or they sing different kinds of songs. They sing a lullaby, they sing a romantic song, they sing a drunk song, yeah. they sing a celebration song. And that mood will be there in every syllable they sing, that mm. uh, uh, bhavam. Bhavam does not mean only crying. No? Right. There are different bhavams are there. Mm. So that has influenced me a lot. So many people who like my music, they normally don't like Carnatic music. They say, oh, we find it very same. Everything sounds the same. <laughs> yeah. But for my concert, uh, or they'll be grimacing or looking like they are in pain or crying or whatever. So, while for my concert, there'll be a lot of smiling on. It's not like I'm going on making jokes. Hmm. I'm singing a normal concert, but he plays something nicely, I appreciate. I okay. sing something and he appreciates. So, there's always this uh, conversation, uh, conversation kind of uh, communication going on. Yeah. Eye contact and yeah. nodding the head. So that happiness also gets uh, transmitted to the listeners. Right. So they don't feel they are there and we are there. We all of us are together yeah. in one, one happy feeling. Yeah, in some concert it's like a competition between the <laughs> musicians. But only when they all get together it uh, really sounds like a good uh, team. Music. Team is like, yeah. see, suppose my right leg is in competition with left leg and right leg just goes on like I'll fall down. You know? mm-hmm. so everything is in sync like our body. Yeah. Like that, while in me, Bradangam Khatam, there is no difference. We, we are all, music is like God in the middle. Hmm. So all of us are jointly doing Seva or Puja or Archana or whatever to God. Yeah. Not uh, Shiva or Krishna or anybody, but music is the God hmm. who is there when we are, we are creating a living thing. Right. So, right. But uh, I was very fortunate to get a set of accompanists, I don't call them accompanists, of co-artists. They, hmm. I am an artist, they are also artists who come completely are in sync with my way of thinking. Yeah. So, we have never had to give each other one look, hey, what is he doing? Never, not even once. Hmm. No, we are all, even without looking at them, I know uh, they are there. No? Okay. So, not now, in India, normally I have one concert a month or something, except during Ramanavami or uh, hmm. Margadi in Chennai, or except a few occasions like that, normally one concert a month. But when we go on tour in America, for example, we have a concert on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Hmm. Then next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, some 
same song some people request from the audience they have seen on youtube or whatever yeah so for them they are seeing me live for the first time and they are very happy but for my accompanist they just played for the song yesterday and day before you know <laughs> so third day in a row i'm going to sing yeah but they know exactly what is coming but even then there's not 1% of passive i yeah, i know what is not like they are they are fully on the ball yeah, uh, yeah. tuned into it that all of us even we are jet lagged we wouldn't have eaten we would have gotten up at 3 in the morning so in that condition also what he plays or what he plays i don't miss either and they know that also right. so one small touch khatam kar de gives means he knows i can't look behind him all the time but he knows that i am not missing hmm. so that complete knowledge between all of us knowing that the other person all of us are listening to each other yeah it's a very very comfortable uh, feeling so yeah wherever you stop i mean they will be kind of waiting for that and and yeah. uh, they know where to stop and where to cut and all that yeah. so sometimes even uh, the silence itself is uh, is music so in between the pauses and everything pauses so. pauses so important see suppose i i pause and the violin doesn't pause hmm. that whole thing is gone correct so we know it is like the bowing is like breathing only so when my breath and his bow are in sync yeah 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 so, some words are chakshu pakshi there are some words we can't sing pakshi or chakshu like so chakshu or pakshi that silent also tak tak he'll cut yeah so it's yeah. very very great and also not just uh, even mridanga instead of just uh, playing sarva laghu um, i mean cutting at wherever it is necessary and all that and khatam kartik is a sanskritam scholar hmm, hmm. so he listens to the sahityam even more than most vocalists do okay so some uh, if for example uh, in varalina gana for example hmm. yeah. simple song same tune for 10 charanams ृदुषण ripu bhishana his day he'll scare his enemies hmm. so when varapushavam and it's going at the speed varapushavam sabhusha natapushana mrudu bhashana ripu bhishana so in khatam kartik mrudu bhashana ripu bhishana one hit will come yeah because he or ripu bhishana he is knowing the sahityam hmm. so that much of alertness is there with some people may notice in the audience also hmm. some people we don't expect they will say oh that ripu bhishana what he did mrudu bhashana that is very nice then oh okay somebody is noticing that hmm. <laughs> we feel right right so oh. yeah that's very great uh and uh, i uh, i have I, i should have asked this earlier but uh, um B, uh, bala murli krishna ji and you have learned from him for uh, and accompanied him through to many concerts and uh, tours and so on uh so uh, i mean uh, what what is uh, and you also you teach his uh, music so uh, what is his music and how is it uh, uh, different uh, from uh, let's say the old uh, composers Uh, i think i think for example i think he had also learned mridangam and maybe that violin. also uh, mridangam ganjira uh, violin viola oh okay, okay one very very obvious difference is that tyagaraja dikshit they never compose songs for us to sit on stage and sing with violin and mridangam get a plus and okay. money hmm. <laughs> while balamuri krishna as a 6 year old he was already a rage as a performer hmm. so so many of his songs are meant to be performed on stage to impress the public to make them go wow like that okay. to get applause to get money okay. so the tyagaraja says in durmarga chara adhamulan in that he says paluku botini paluku boti is the word uh, hmm. girl the vak devata hmm. who is saraswati who is art so the sabhalona patita manav he says people who use art to make money they are bad people tyagaraja says and we sing that and we make money <laughs> so at balamuri sir of course it's very cute to hear him speak english hmm. he says um, they are they are worst fellows <laughs> while balamuri sir's songs are not like that they are meant for us to sing hmm. on stage there is no apology about that and there is one amrita vishnu varna which i have not sung yet hmm. in that abala gopa he says let the public listen to my singing and shout sabash hmm. that is the sahitya of the varna ah, okay <laughs> sabash and epilepsy then then and they should feel uh, gratified 
सो दैट परफॉर्मेंस एस्पेक्ट हिस्स तिलानास फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड हिस्स तिलानास बिट्रे हिस्स इंटीमेट नॉलेज ऑफ रिथम एंड परकशन सो दे आर फ्रॉम द opening itself they'll be very upbeat hmm. uh, so there, there are phrases like nam kitta kitta nam kitta 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 timta timta tere kitta kitta so nam kitta kitta nam kitta 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 timta timta tere kitta 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 nam kitta 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 timta timta tere kitta 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 nam kitta 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 so nam kitta kitta nam kitta kitta we normally a singer won't be singing like that it's a bradang is yeah. bradangam player only will think of an idea like that correct, correct, so yeah. that uh, rhythm uh, is there then poetry also it is not only namavali like or ama krishna govinda achuta kesava like hmm. there be some uh, some content lyrical yeah. content would be very strong okay uh, so then lack of sangatis hmm. uh, most of his compositions have just that one tune hmm. which is enough okay. not uh, unnecessarily cluttered uh, with sangati that is not there hmm. uh, so these are it's kind of we see we can't even compare shama shastri and tyagaraj shama tyagaraj is like this shama shastri is like this yeah uh, gnb is like this balamurli is like this. it's a different uh, he lived in a different time also hmm. uh, not 250 years ago yeah. uh, like tyagaraj is next to the swastri and shama shastri did so that that is the main these are the main differences okay okay, okay. thank you sir so his compositions actually uh, if somebody asked me that he made a raga with four notes lavangi for example hmm, hmm. so azare mada sadamari omkara karini madahankara varini avadum so big hoy you have only four notes how can you sing but right. you give me uh, 10 or 15 students of a certain level hmm. and you say can you teach them the lavangi omkara karini or bhairavi kamakshi swaradeti hmm. it will be so much easier to teach lavangi Hmm. Uh, then Kamakshi Sarajit, right? Because Kamakshi from the beginning, ka ma shi amba. For half the people, the, the, the lower range itself is not there. Right, right, right. <laughs> so kira, they don't win. And the amount of asli ka ma. Many small small gavakams are happening. Very very uh, heavy and difficult. Right. You have to be so aware. When zari bari zada, zari bari zari zada, zari bata, zada, zada da mama riri zada, zada da mama riri zada, zada da mama riri zada, zada da mama riri. It's just if you have steady voice, clarity, brain, ear, you can easily sing uh, hmm. lavangi. Right. Dan bhai ravi, or todi, or varali, or any of those things. Correct. So his songs are. I feel it's more difficult. for him to have conceived something like this so fresh and original hmm. to actually sing them hmm. if learnt the correct way hmm. uh, they are very very easy compared to some of the other uh, traditional material hmm. Hmm. sir uh, you uh, love sahikal ji's uh, music a lot can you please uh, talk about it uh, sahikal but he was probably the the like purandadas as the kulapati of carnatic music mari hmm. so sahikal was the kulapati of our popular music hmm. uh, he lived he sang from 1930s till 1945 47 he died when he was only 50 years old hmm. at that time there was no playback and there was no separate recording so on a, in a film the hero is running behind the heroine and singing means they, they are filming that and he is actually singing hmm. the same song would be sung again in the studio for the 78 rpm record hmm. so all cycle songs there are two versions what is in the film and what is in the uh, studio okay so when we buy a cycle cassette what we get is the studio recording only so which is why after his time only mohammad rafi kishor kumar time we find from the original soundtrack Okay. because saigal is not from the original soundtrack is he sang separately for the studio so how i discovered him is that i am very fond of kishor kumar hmm. and then mohammad rafi mukesh hemant kumar talat mahmood mannade so many people but every and kishor sounds like this rafi sounds like that mukesh sounds like this lata sounds like they all sound different hmm. but in their interviews each of them says oh my favorite is kl saigal so i had never heard his voice i had never heard of him hmm. when all these people their interviews at that time i am talking about 1986 87 hmm. not much material either like internet or anything right from here and there whenever i 
read about them i find that their hero is kale cycle who is this kale cycle i didn't know so once after i was around 19 years old i found a cassette of kale cycle songs in a cassette shop hmm. and i played it in my car so his voice was very flat and very nasal just ah like so, so i was not attracted at all when i heard this but anyway i had spent 35 rupees so 35 rupees in 1987 was a lot of money yeah. <laughs> so 35 rupees so i want anyway i bought the cassette let me play it once so my cassette player had this facility by which once the cassette is finished the opposite side would play hmm. automatically so it played once then i was like yeah okay but before i took it uh, no i'll play once more so then i think for 6 months it was this cassette okay i never took it out each time i listened to it i'll play once more huh? okay it is like something is there i'm missing I, it is not attractive now but i feel something is there like hmm. so it went on and on and on and it kind of grew on me and i became completely addicted to saigal and then i started identifying how much of saigal influence is there in kishore kumar hmm. in mohod rafi in mukesh some of them never got out of it. till they died they were in the trap of saigal limitation okay like c h atma there is a amazing singer okay he sounded like saigal okay uh, actually so uh, it is uh, uh, so uncontrived uh, like if it is a happy song to show it is happy hey hey like nothing like that hmm. or if it is a sad song little <laughs> like uh, that also was not okay uh, so uh, kishore kumar would be blast the hey hey especially yeah and mohod rafi will sing hue hum jin ke liye hue hum jin ke liye that is not crying but a little little sob yeah. will be there. but saigal will, will be just plain okay uh, jab dil hi toot gaya jab dil hi toot gaya hum ji ke kya karenge hum ji ke kya karenge so ye jab dil hi toot gaya hum ji ke kya karenge yeah. thinking of dying only yeah. but it just sing it like that Hmm. Uh, plain uh, if he uh, sings a uh, lullaby or a sleep song or devotional song they all sound same okay. outwardly hmm. but we make an begam akhtar uh, ghazal singer hmm. she would also not show she sad or but everything was there inside hmm. it's like a coconut it's a hard shell you have to break the shell then inside what is there is divine yeah. and i was a kerala person i like coconut oil <laughs> <laughs> so okay, okay. there is saigal ring his, his influence is so great hmm. so and my veena guru ks narayan swami sir uh, he was addicted to saigal hmm. so both of us would spend hours and hours listening to saigal songs and uh, dissecting them also okay balam aaye baso mere man mein balam so balam so mari pamadavani da so so he used to tell me see see how he is doing bal and then he knew i didn't know at that time that hmm. the music director was a gentleman called timir baran who hmm. was a sarod player okay de pa pa da pa ma ga re ga so the background music that he has only played on his sarod okay that he knew him <laughs> and he would be surprised how come you know saigal because this is these are from my school days in 1920s okay. <laughs> 1920s 30s yeah, i just i was very lucky to have discovered saigal when i was around 1920 hmm. and even now he remains like okay uh, one of the ultimate okay okay <laughs> and uh, talking about the veena so uh, you you are also a, a very uh, well known uh, vainika and you have also given a lot of uh, uh, veena concerts so how does uh, uh learning an instrument help you uh, in uh, vocal uh, absolutely that, that is you now as a teacher uh, hmm. the, when we teach something we have to identify the swarams we hmm. have to split it into small pieces show the amount of gamma comes with the hand all that is 100% thanks to veena hmm. uh, even earlier you asked i learned from vachu sir and balamuli sir i listened to md ramnath and kishore they are all different styles yeah. the different styles the voice texture everything that is hmm. the what we see outside Myers. but the content the, the form hmm. the form and content hmm. the content is the essence of what they sing hmm. so whether we sing in a or o or u or whatever the phrase is the that when we learn not only veena veena or violin or any instrument we access the the essence the the prana the uira we say in uh, of the phrase so is it so, the bani uh, so then bani the, doesn't uh, matter anymore we okay. just take the essence so we, i listen to madhuramani means Uh, see, you have heard me sing. I don't sing like Madhuramani. Now, when mm. I demonstrated, I showed like that. Right. 
but i take so much of his swaram singing patterns okay so even gaba bani ni sa sa ri ri ga ga ri ga ga pa bani ni sa sa ri ri sa ri ri ga ga pa bani ni sa sa that's 100% from madhuram okay ga ga ma ga ma ga 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 ba ga ri sa ri ga ma ga 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 ba pa ba ba ga ri ri ga ma that that kind of thing it's a kind of that that kind of feel 100% from madhuram okay or if i sing my all pa da pa ma da pa ma ga ma pa ma ga ri sa ri ga ma ja ta ro ஜஸ்ட் Uh, soul essence of what they are uh, okay so their music so do you follow any bani or uh, do you uh, i uh, learned uh, from vichur sir which is samagudi bani okay but without the mannerisms without the mannerisms. then i learned from balamulli sir again without the mannerisms so right the right. asamana mana tildana is how i sing but you can sing asamana mana tildana okay. then you know, it's like uh, balamulli but asamana mana tildana that is the essence hmm. that's a content Uh, right. but then how we sing kuntala varali ragamanadu so ragamanadu is balamurli so ragamanadu is that that phrase without balamurli uh, okay. uh, imitation okay so mm-hmm. i try maximum just to access the essence of the material what whoever is singing mm-hmm. than concentrate on the outward form 100% thanks to instrument learning okay while well, generally most of it is opposite i like that man means you sing try and sing like that person yeah. imitation whether it's bar especially people with lot of mannerisms whether mm. it's bar murli krishna or md ramnath and md ramnath not many people follow mm. and that kind of singing but the first thing we notice is the mannerism right so you right. leave that and see what they are doing no? correct correct so, yeah md ramnath and actually uh, me also when i heard him for the first time it's like okay it's very strange, <laughs> strange. Uh, not i mean you cannot understand it but yeah. uh, uh, as you listen to it more and more times then and then you stop listening to the mannerism but the, content, the content and then you understand that okay there are so many all all of them each person had something yeah, yeah. so special to offer so right. it's up to us maybe people have include starting with me everybody might have have imperfections also hmm. if you say oh that is not right that is not right that's our loss correct so, yeah. so you you leave that and take the good that's correct. from everybody yeah. we can take the good and ignore the yeah the bad